Hello everyone, welcome to San Benito Art Council's art tutorial. My name is Allison Barnes. I am a teaching artist with the San Benito Arts Council. Today I will teach you how to draw this adorable sea turtle. You will need a white piece of paper, a pencil, eraser, and color crayons. I used blue, green, and blue for the ocean, green, yellow, and blue-green for the sea turtle, yellow and orange for the sun, pink, orange, green, and gray for the rocks, and black to outline all the details. Let's begin. We are first going to sketch our sea turtle on our paper. We are going to start in the middle of our paper. I'm going to start by drawing a guideline. So I will start towards the left and draw an angled line down to the right. This line is going to showcase how large I'm going to have to draw my sea turtle. Now, I am going to sketch, and remember when I say sketch, we're trying to draw very light lines. Mine will be drawn out just a little bit darker so you can see. So I'm going to sketch a rectangle around my guideline. So now I'm going to have one rectangle with a line dividing that down the center. So now that I have this on my paper, I'm going to start to draw the shell of my sea turtle. So my center line, I'm going to go halfway in between on the right side, the center line and the outside of the first rectangle. I'm going to start here and I'm going to start drawing the outside curve of the shell. I'm going to bring it up to my guideline of the rectangle and then drop the line back down to the edge. Now, I'm probably going to extend beyond my rectangle. I'm going to repeat the same step on the left side of my center guideline, about halfway, and then I'm going to draw and curve the line. This time I'm not going to reach the edge of that rectangle. It's going to go very close to it. Okay, and then I'm just going to connect that. So that's the basic shape of our sea turtle for the shell. I am going to then draw a second line on this left side here that's going to go and match. And this one is going to reach the edge of my rectangle. Okay, so that's a second line there. So that is our basic body shape. We are going to add some details in a little bit later. Now up towards the top of my rectangle, I'm going to extend that center line up just a little bit. And then I'm going to draw or sketch a square. This is going to help me draw in the head of my sea turtle. Okay, so my next step to start drawing this adorable face of the turtle, I'm going to start on the right side of that square that I drew and I'm going to make an arch. Okay, it's going to curve. Then I'm going to draw a straight line out. So I'm going away from the square that I drew. This is going to form his nose. At the very edge, I'm going to curve the line in. This is making his cute little mouth. Draw a little curve line there. And then I'm going to go back and then curve the bottom half of his mouth. And that's going to go across the bottom of that square. So now I want to connect the face, the head, to the body. So I'm just going to draw a little curve line to connect the neck to the shell, and I'm going to wait for this second area before I connect the face, the head, to the, the shell. 
we're going to start by drawing next the fins or his feet, his legs. Okay, so on this left side here, I'm going to start by drawing a curve line out. I'm following my rectangle, the rest of the, the top part of this rectangle, and I'm going to go down and then I'm going to draw some little wiggly lines to represent that that's his little leg there. Okay. On the right side, I'm going to do the same thing, draw a curved line, reach out, and then towards the bottom, kind of just a little curved line. Now to finish the neck, I'm going to go back up and just draw a curved line to touch the shoulder of that leg. So now we have those two there. Now for the bottom, I'm going to kind of start in that rectangle area, same idea, draw a line out and then kind of a wiggly line, wiggly line. When I come back in for this back leg here, my distance from the top of the leg is going to be closer together than the bottom of the foot. Okay. Now across onto the right side, this one's going to look a little bit different. It goes behind and just kind of a little curved line there. So now you can see all these lines that we have in here. You can still see the rectangle, the line down to the center. So my next step is we are going to erase all of those guidelines. Okay. Now I did not press really lightly, so hopefully most of these will fade away. So I'm going to start by erasing the guideline through the center. Okay, the one that went across. So the entire rectangle, anywhere that I see any part of the rectangle, I'm going to erase that. Now if by accident, like I did here, I erase some of the lines that I want to keep, I can just go right back in and draw right back over them. Okay. So I'm going to continue around to erase all those lines. Inside the face, I'm going to do the same thing. Perfect. Okay, so now we can start adding some details to our sea turtle. Okay. All right, so inside the face. So I drew a second line that kind of followed along with the outside shape of the face, one around. You don't have to do this step. This is gonna be up to you. Now for the eye, I kind of, I draw a little guideline for the eye that goes straight across. And then on the right side, I draw a curved line. And if you look really closely, it looks like a, the letter D, an uppercase letter D. Okay, then I repeat that same shape down below. And then I am going to draw the iris of the eye, just a circle. And you can erase your guideline. Then I'm going to draw an eyelid above that. Now you can get as fancy as you want with your eye. You can draw eyelashes in or you can just leave it like so. Okay. Draw this line across. Okay, now this area here, I am going to add some, almost like a rectangle shape around and across. This is just to showcase the edge of his shell. And go around. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a belly that you can see and add these lines here. Okay, because he has a belly that goes underneath him. I am going to go ahead and draw in these lines or the design in his shell. So I'm going to start towards the center. And I'm still kind of keeping that rectangular thing. And I just go across the top. Then this one you're not going to see all of it and around. If you don't want them to be a rectangle shape, you can add more circles. Then my second row, I'm going to go in between the two and go down and around like so. Add this one and then you can add just little lines here for to complete that. Then in the center, I just do a little loop. You can make it square, circular, 
or you don't have to add any design there. Do the same thing inside the turtle on his legs, but I make these smaller across the bottom as well. Okay. All right, so now our sea turtle should be swimming in the ocean. So what I do next is I'm going to draw a wave. So I wanna make sure that my sea turtle is swimming below the top part of the waves. And I just go ahead and draw a real fun wavy line. Now I'm going to draw a second line. And it's gonna reach up, go under, up, under, up, like so. Okay. And that's the top part of my wave. And then I can add some smaller little lines to showcase water moving anywhere you want on your paper. Now, this is an extra step. You don't have to do this. If you just want to finish with drawing the turtle, you can do that and your project can be finished. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some clouds. They're gonna reach the line of the waves and I'm gonna just draw some real big fluffy clouds off to the left and then the same thing off to the right and maybe an extra cloud. And then I wanna have a nice bright sunshine because when I think of going to the, to the beach, I always think of a nice sunny day. So I just draw an arch for sun. And then I got a little more decorative and added more lines for the sun. And then the sun rays, I just drew a straight line that went out and across. All right, and then for the bottom, because my sea turtle is swimming close to the bottom of the ocean floor, I just add some little rocks in like so, onto the left, and then the same thing to the right, just like so. Now, the way I added color to my art piece, I use color crayons. What you should start with first is coloring in your entire project. So, for example, I would color in my sea turtle now my pencil is kind of mixing in with my color cream, but that's okay. Yours might do the same thing. Okay. Now you can take your time. If you wanna get really fancy, you can blend some of the colors in. I took green. I also have this blue green, and I can mix a little bit of the blue green in with the green to make darker color green. And when I do that, I'll go back over one last time with the green to blend the colors in together, just like so. Okay, so that's one example. I would go ahead and finish coloring in the turtle. Okay, For my ocean waves, I started with blue and I colored it all the way in. I'm not taking my time. I'm brushing a little bit. But it's okay if you get color crayon out of the lines because our final step will go with our black color crayon and go over that so you won't see any of the lines when I color outside. Okay. And then I took further down as I go through the waves. I changed the color to the blue-green as I went closer to the rocks, just to change the blue tone or blue color. Okay, And then sometimes, at, towards the center, I would start with blue, mix in the blue-green, and go over it one last time with blue. And then for the sun, I colored in yellow and orange, and I left the clouds white. Now for the rocks, I just kind of had a little bit of fun by taking pinks and I just scribbled little circles and orange to make it look like there might be coral growing on the rocks. And I just went around wherever I felt that I needed to put color. You can add starfish, seashells, anything like that. And then I took green and I colored in some green around the rock and then I took gray 
and I mixed the colors together and just kind of layered. So when I finish my project and I color everything in, I take my black crayon and I go around and I outline every place that I colored in. And the reason why we save this step for last is so that when you color it, color in your colors, you're not smearing the black within the beautiful colors that you're choosing. So you would outline every part of your piece and end up with this really adorable sea turtle art piece. I hope you enjoyed drawing. Stay tuned for more art lessons with San Benito Arts Council.